Hey everybody, welcome back. Jake Dixon here. Um, if you've been following us, thanks so much for uh, tuning back in. This is video number six out of a video series of 19 discussing the top 19 things they don't teach you in real estate school. So uh, this particular topic is actually, I'm going to use an acronym that may be unfamiliar to you, but uh, with the company I'm with, Keller Williams, we call this the MVVBP. So creating your MVVBP, and what that stands for is your mission, vision, values, beliefs, and perspectives, okay? Basically what this is, um, is a fundamental piece of who you are, what you represent, and quite frankly, how you're gonna conduct your business moving forward. Not just day one, but maybe 20 years down the road if you ever have the intent of running a real estate team. Um, but this is honestly where your brand comes to life because let's not make any mistake here. You are the brand. The company you work for is not the brand. You are the brand. People do business with who they know, like, and trust, not what company you're necessarily working for. Um, so keep that in mind. But this is, again, where your brand comes to life. It's where you're um, really creating a foundation, a basis for everything else to um, be decided on, right? You're, when you're hiring talent for your team, maybe this is things that you go back to on your uh, mission, vision, value, beliefs, and perspectives to see does this person align and believe with what I believe in, right? If not, maybe it's not gonna be a good hire. Not that they're not talented, but they're just not in alignment with what my core values are. Um, and God forbid, you know, you get asked the question that a lot of uh, new real estate agents dread, which is, well, how long have you been in the business? How many homes have you sold? Why should I work with you over this agent over here who's been in the business for 20 years? Spending time up front doing this allows you to answer that question with confidence and conviction. And um, first of all, I think in most cases when you're on, let's say, a listing appointment, it's really rare that somebody's actually going to ask you, how long have you been in the business? Um, and I challenge the agents that I coach that if someone does ask that, be ready to answer it. But also, where's the self-reflection? Where's your DNA in that? Because a lot of times, uh, the reason they ask that is because perhaps something I said or how I carried myself prompted them to ask me that. Maybe I planted the seed of doubt in their mind to question how long I've been in the business. But if I go in there and I own it and I'm prepared and have clarity, or clarity around who I am, um, I, I'd be shocked if somebody, or at least a strong majority of people ask you so how many homes have you sold? <laughs> but at the end of the day, you have to know this because when you're in times where you're competing for that listing or maybe that buyer client, you have to know what separates you from the rest, right? And so taking time to discover your mission, your vision, your values, beliefs, and perspectives is, um, is well worth it. And you can't just put empty words on paper. It's gotta mean something, be authentic. There is no one else out there like you. You are the brand, like I said earlier. So. Um, this is gonna be boiled down to what is your unique selling proposition. Um, you'll hear a lot of people phrase this as what is your 30 second elevator speech? Okay, so you've gotta be able to summarize it in a very succinct, um, simplified manner of what you uh, represent. And if I was you, I'd have it front and center of my uh, listing and or buyer uh, presentations. Just the fact that you slow down enough to, to take time to think through what your mission statement is. What are the things that you value? What is your vision for yourself and the business and the people that you're going to impact? What are your core beliefs, right? And then what is your perspective? What is your outlook? And I take people through uh, this exercise on each one of those to gain clarity on how they can answer those, those specific questions. So uh, as we know, uh, we're big believers that clarity is power. So when I have that in my tool belt and the clarity around why I do what I do, how my team, how myself I'm going to function based on our core principles, Boy, a lot of magical things can happen from there, but I think far too often a lot of agents just kind of float and wander around and they never get real clarity around, gosh, who am I? And is it okay that I said, no, I don't want to represent that particular person? Because again, I'm not going to chase the money. I'm going to work with the people who respect me, who believe in what I believe in, and who value my time just as much as their own. So um, anyways, this is a short and sweet one, so thank you guys so much for watching it. Uh, create your mission, vision, values, beliefs, and perspectives. One page, short and sweet, to the point that you can present with confidence if ever asked the question, why should I work with you versus this person? Or how long have you been in real estate? Blah, blah, blah. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for plugging in. I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.